Okay, so that's the new link. Uh, all right, so I did mention that now we know where to get funds for our work. Let's look at the next things we're going to be looking uh, using in our project, in our career as Photoshop artist. So the next things we're going to be using, I'm just going to close all this because I don't want this to become too easy for me to manage. Are you seeing my screen? Am I sharing screen? No, 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 no. Okay, let me share screen. Are we back on? Okay, yeah, we're back on. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so I'm uh, having a bit of a issue. You should just come back to this for now. We'll click that issue later. So the next thing is, let's go to, there are things called brush. I mean, okay, let's not go to brush. Let's start with images. Where do we get images for our work, right? I'm gonna say this, I hate using four images in my design. So I don't want my students to use four images. So the first place you can always get images from, let's look, is Texas. There are many of them. You know what, let's take a list and then we'll go to them one, one after the other. Let's, get, let's take a list. The first one is pexels.com. Pexels, P E X E L S.com. Are, are we good? Pexels.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see if I can start to come. The next one is Pixabay. I mean, funny thing, you see some of those people are just repeating images. Pixabay.com. So, Maybe I should just start open all of this in a new tab so we can just go back to them. Let's do pegels in this tab. Pegels come. Pegelbay.com. Unsplash is the third one. Unsplash.com. Unsplash. U N then splash. The way you spell, spell splash normally. U N splash.com. Unsplash.com. Uh, why is my network slow? Hello, hello, is everybody with me? Okay. Uh, hello? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I think, I think my data exhausted and I had to do another two gig, but I don't know why am I getting two gig? What's going on? Hold on, I just want to do another two gig because this might still go offline again. I'm using my phone. Okay, hello. So yeah, I fixed that. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, I fixed that with good. Let me see if I cannot be can come back. What's up? Let me, let me just talk to him on WhatsApp. What's going on? Why is he not coming to us? Let me see if I can send him a new link, a different kind of link that's easy for him. Let me just copy this. And let's see. Hopefully, hopefully, he can try that link and it works for him. Okay, yo, so we are here at pexels.com. Let me just reload this because, I mean, this is Pixar Bay. And all these things can look alike sometimes. Just pexel this thing load up then. And this is on splash. Okay. So what's the, the third one? On splash. U N splash.com. U N splash.com. On splash.com. Okay. So okay. another place we can get. Another place is um this one. You, you may need to pay some time, but you can always get by with the unpaid Pinterest. Ones. No, I'd not Pinterest. I don't go to Pinterest. You can get Pinterest is a, is a portfolio site. You're not supposed to go get images there. And if you do get images, okay. it won't be so nice. 
So what I'm trying to remember, I don't know. I don't know why I'm, okay. Uh, this is a site I use like all the time. What do you mean? Free pick. Okay, good. Freepick.com. Free pick. Now, pay attention to the spelling. It is free, then P I K. Freepick.com. Free and P I K. Okay. I think we have a new person here who was not here before. Let the person speak to the mic. Let's hear. Hello. Who's, who, I just Hello. see you. Okay. Me, can, okay. I still you. My dad's laptop. Okay. I see now. All right. That's fine. Okay. Um, freepig.com. That's another place where you can get images. Then finally, I discovered this one recently. Not that I didn't know them before, but I didn't know I could get by with them. Get the images. Of course, and everybody knows Getty Images, but now Getty Images is tricky, unlike the others. Unlike the others, you need, for example, there are some images you won't get easily. This is uh, this is my recent searches. So the way, to, let's just tweet Getty Images and move on from it quickly. The way to use Getty Images is, uh, you know, Getty Images is paid, right? This one. But I don't have all of this money just to buy one image, right? <laughs> so the way I use it is this. I look at this Getty Images um, watermark. And if the if what I need from this image, uh, if the watermark is not marring it, I can easily still use it. Now, the, the reason I can still download this, just right click and save as. The reason I can still use this is because the size is still okay, even when you save as, even when you don't download the original. Of course, if I was to download the original, that's gonna be heavier and more sharper. But you can still use this and get images of one MB, one point something MB, now something kilobyte, and that's still fair, okay? You can still use those images, they're fair, they're fair enough, okay? How with me? Hello? Yeah. Okay. I mean, so I mean. that's how I use Getty Images. I simply come here and I save this one. The only problem is I don't want this on it. So now I can use Ocad Barry here. I can just mask her out and use her for what I want to use her for. And this is not going to be in my way. But if this is there, I'm just, I can't use it. I have to look for something that doesn't have this. So let's quickly brush through Getty Images that way. That's the issue with Getty Images. So I'm going to leave there. The reason I had to open Getty Images is this specific thing, like looking for Nigerian musicians, looking for Nigerian athletes, looking for Nigerian footballers. If you just search other places, you won't find it though. <laughs> All these Nigerian specific images, you won't find this, but on Getty Images, you'll find them. And then hopefully you can find something that is not being covered by that um, watermark. As a matter of fact, there are websites where you can remove that watermark, but that's not in the scope of this class. So I'm going to close Getty Images. Let's come to Freepik. So you can get a lot of images from Freepik too. I don't know why Freepik is not loading enough. So let's say I want, now let, let me teach you how to use Freepik quickly. Here we have resources. You could streamline what you want to search for because Freepik has a lot. You can download PSDs. PSDs is our Photoshop files. You can download templates of Photoshop from Freepik. I don't use templates. I don't advise people to use templates, especially beginners. I don't advise you to use templates, but it's fine. You, um, after a while, you can use templates to make, make your work faster. So you can get templates of Photoshop. You can get templates of Illustrators. Adobe Illustrator works. You can also get photos. So if I'm looking for photo, I just come here and select photos and I select free. So that way all that I get is free. And then I'm just gonna say sport and search for sport, okay? And then I'm gonna get a lot of sports things. You see, this is beautiful, right? These are images you can easily crop with um, the marquee tool in Photoshop. And you can use all this. So let's say we get this racket. Okay, let me get this one, right? And let me show you a work in which I have used this particular image. So the way to get things from, of course, the subscription to, to free pick is not expensive. And I will tell you if, if you are doing a work for a, for a client and that work is above 50K, here's what I do. Every time I, I'm doing a job for a client and it's above 50K, 
I always charge them extra money for free pick. So depending on how much you want to charge them to buy images from free, I always charge them extra money so I can buy images from free pick or buy images from Adobe. Yeah, that's true. I'm sorry, there's one important one I didn't mention, which is the Adobe themselves. Talk.adobe.com. This is another place you can get images. And this is the one hosted by Adobe themselves. So yeah, to get this image, simply come here to download. And you can come here to choose the size you want. If you don't select the size, it's just gonna download the highest size, which is this very, very heavy one. So for now, I'm just gonna download this medium. And that's gonna download for me. I'm gonna just remove it. So that's the way you download it, okay? So you can go ahead and do that. And this guy is telling me I've reached the maximum as a guest. Yeah, you could do that. So you can see I'm getting this login as Alexander Aurel. This, so I'm just gonna log in as this and go back. So you can always log in with your Google account. The trick I use here is, so I can download a lot of files per day, I log in with several different accounts. I have a lot of Google, so I just keep logging in with different Google accounts. I'm sure if they find this on YouTube, they're probably going to do something about that. <laughs> so let's log in with this one. Maybe maybe that's going to be fine. But Macklin's want to come back, OK? So yeah, like I said, you can get images here. Now let me show you a work where I have used this particular image because I did use. Let me see if I can go back to my Beyonce portfolio. Uh, this is the portfolio we created. Let me go back to my original portfolio. Ooh, what's going on? Excuse me. Okay. Um. Yeah, this one. Yeah. So you can see I've used that guy's picture to create this poster here. Mark Lins, are you back? What happened to your network? Is it Was it network? I can hear you clearly. That is why I have to leave and rejoin again. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, up, up, uh, great. Okay, so I was talking about a picture we got from Free Peak. Did you see how we could okay. get pictures from Free Peak? And how yes, I have used that picture here. I think I, I stopped that. sharing. Did I stop sharing? Did I, I think I stopped sharing. Yes, you stopped sharing. Okay, I'm sharing again. So, awesome. So, free pick is another place you can get um, you can get pictures. And there's a lot of the thousands and thousands of pictures you can get from free pick. And if you want to streamline, you can just say, for example, you can say COP and say PNG. So, if you want to streamline and get PNG images, uh, when we start Photoshop, we're going to be discussing the two types of images, JPEG and PNG, and the difference and why it's always better if you can find PNG images because they make your life easier for you. You can see all these images are PNG images. What that means is yeah, that yeah, they have... Oh, who's that? Let me you down, let me you. What that means is that they have no background. Okay, let's move on to Unsplash. Now... Unsplash, Pexel, Pixabay, they all behave the same way. The thing is, images you get from here, you have to be, do a bit of work to make them work, okay? Is everyone with me? So you have to do a bit of work. Let's say I wanted to use this image now. It's interesting, it's all good. To download it, I have to come here and say download free. And it's gonna ask me to you know, do attribution and all that. If you like attribute, if you don't. Yeah, it's good to always attribute people, okay? So that's fine. But now for me to use this image, I have to go and crop it in Photoshop. But sometimes there are the places you can get the kind of images you want. So you can just think of an idea and then come and look for that idea. So for example, if I want an African woman, I'm just gonna say woman African. And I'm gonna search. And don't come to this premium. That's just going to take you to iStock. That's another place you can find images if you can pay for them. <laughs> okay, so this is not giving me what I want. I'm just going to say woman, and I'm going to say black. See, I'm getting it here, but these are paid. You can't do that. Okay, see, I'm getting black women now. So you can get, you can take any of these images. Like, a, again, you have to do a bit of work to make them work. You have to crop out the image or if that's the way you need it yeah if you're doing presentation designs 
you can always just take these pictures the way they are. I've been talking about presentation designs a lot, but it's beyond the scope of our class, so I'm not really going to dive deep into that. But let me just show us quickly what a presentation design is. It's the kind of design you do in PowerPoint or in design. So I did a bit of presentation design for a client recently. I'm going to share my PowerPoint with you now just to explain what presentation design is all about. Okay. So I'm going to change my sharing to my PowerPoint. So this is what we call presentation design. And you will be surprised that this can make you a lot of money. Me. So to be able to take people's presentations and turn it into something interesting and creative like this is something people pay for. Believe me, I've earned, more, I've earned over 200K for just doing presentation design before. On one project, I've earned 150k for just something like this. And I think this particular one alone is around 50. So you can do it. I finished this one two days ago. Or what? No, I finished this yesterday. I was doing a, uh, more than one for that client. Let me show you another one. I'm showing us this just to see what's possible. Okay, AFN. Uh, this is this is another presentation design. See, I got these images from Getty Images. So yeah, that's, and I had to do a bit of work to do it. And all these images, each of them are edited in Photoshop, so that makes it a bit more expensive. So you do a bit of audience demography and all that, all this one here. So this is what we call presentation design. This stadium was given, right? But I had to do all this thing. I had to add this one myself. I had to add this one myself. And this is what we call mock-up. And we're going to talk about, we're going to talk more about mock-ups next week. Okay, so... I had to design this once, although I just got the image and changed it to the brand that I was working with. So lucky for me, but sometimes you have to design it yourself. This is another mock-up. This, this match you're looking at here is not there. We put it there with, I put it there with Photoshop and when you start mock-ups, we're gonna look at how to do that. Then I did this one in, I did a three day. This is supposed to be the presentation podium. I did this one in, what did I even use? Let me see, I always forget. I did it in Blender, okay. So that's a bit of 3D there. So when you're working as, a, as an artist, you may have to touch different softwares just to bring things together. So yeah, this is a presentation design and it pays well too, if you are interested in that. But it's not part of what I'm gonna be teaching. It's just to show us that that's possible. Except you want me to do a class on it and fine. I'll do a class on it, you pay for it, fine. So yeah, this is how to use Unsplash. And the way we just used Unsplash here in using your, uh, searching with your keyword and get specific with your keyword. That's the same way you're gonna do when you come to Pexels. Again, we're gonna do woman black. Or maybe this time let's do man so that we don't get biased. Man black or black man, you can do whatever you want. But it's just that if you do black man, you're probably gonna get things that are black that are not, that are not even mine. So that's why man falls because that's the important thing you're looking for. Then black, what kind of man? Black man, good. So you can say, yeah, I'm getting things that are not black and some things that are black, fine. Just take the one, take the one you want. And I'm gonna show us why we are getting some of these results that are not really what we want. Let me just dive into this one, for example. Now this, one's, this one has something we call tags. If I was to go to the info now, and let me see if I can find the tags. Okay, I just wanna see if I can see the tags. Okay, the tag is not showing, but at the back end where this person uh, uploaded this picture, he probably put black there. And obviously see, there's this word in the header, same man, so it's gonna show for us. But I think somewhere at the back end, maybe he tagged it as black because this man is wearing a black suit. Maybe he named it black suit, and that's why we are getting him because I've used the keyword black. That's the same way you search at Pigs Bay. So yeah, let's just do coffee cup. By the way, you cannot do PNG searches here. You can only do PNG searches on FreePig, on Stock.Adobe, or on iStock. You can't do PNG searches here. You won't get what you're looking for. Uh, where is it? I think I did coffee black, right? Why am I getting this nonsense? Let's try again. 
coffee. Oh, wait, I'm in the wrong place. Okay, Peg, Peg, Pigs of Bay, I think. See, yeah, coffee black. See, now we're getting all these coffee cups. Always mind this top. It's always advert. If you click that, you're gonna, you need to pay for all that. Now, if I need this, I could bring this up and just crop this out in Photoshop and use it. So it's gonna be beautiful. I think I did that uh, with that coffee stuff we uploaded on a newly created Behance portfolio. So yeah, that's how to get images. To download images here, just select this and come here to free download. Select the size you want and download. Awesome. Yeah, it's gonna give you, just check that. And it says taxi, so here's a taxi, here's a taxi, here's a taxi. I don't see any other taxi, so I'm just gonna say verify and download. <clears throat> Can we all hear me clearly? All right, I've been talking for hours, my throat is tight now, so. <laughs> so I just wanna be sure we can still hear me. So that's how you get images. Any question, hold your place, any question? Any question? Give me audio, question, question, question. Not at all, not at all for me, no. All right, good. So let's move on then. Here is the Adobe one. You can come here to search. The only thing is you get a pay. You hardly find anything free on Adobe. There are free ones though, not, not to spoil the market. <laughs> there are free ones. Let me see if I say cop here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, we can get some free things here too. But not many, not many. Yeah, I think, wow, this is interesting. Maybe they just upgrade everything and then they're not getting all, all this free stuff. That's interesting. Oh, let's just get this. I like this. So the way to download in Adobe, you see others you are doing download, download. The way to do Adobe is to select license. Okay? And it's going to roll and roll and it's going to give you what you want. Now I'm downloading it. My, my distant... My free download manager has popped up. That image is 10.3 MB. Now, and what it does, to just explain what all, what all that was about is, what it does is it adds it to your library. So when you start designing with Photoshop, with Illustrator, or any other thing, you can, from, it's from uh, within Photoshop, access this image. As much as you've downloaded it and it's now on your local drive, you can, from within Photoshop, access that image too and you use it. That's why it says license. Now, when I'm in Photoshop, I can easily use that image. And it's, it's uh, an interesting thing because this is an Adobe, um, Adobe site and they integrate it with their software. So that's beautiful, right? That's beautiful. Awesome. So yeah, I wanted to show us where our fonts downloaded. So just go to your, I'm going to, um, I'm gonna share my, hold on. Let me share my local, Explorer with you so you can see what I'm doing. I just want to quickly get that out of the way. For me now, because I'm using IDM, I'm going to have to come to Compressed and see all the fonts I was downloading, Lato, uh, Sinzel Magazine, all those fonts are here. Now, here's how you install the fonts. I've already um, opened some. You know what? Let me just unpack this magazine font. Where is it again? Magazine. So yeah, let me unpack this. I'm just going to right click. Yeah, you may not have to do this on your own system if that's not the way you have it, if you're not using IDM. Because if you're not using IDM, you're just going to have it here. It's going to be right here, okay? So just go ahead and do this unpacking. You go into it. Now, here is how you install fonts. And just select it, double click on it this way. Now, let me share the screen of the font thing. Okay, so when you double click on it, this is what you get. Are we with me? Hello? Okay, so this is what you get to install it. Just select that. And this is gonna run. Boom, that's it, you've installed it. So let me go back to my, I just wanna get that out of the way. Let's go, let's come back here. Hello, audio please. Can we all install fonts now? So that's it though, there's nothing to it. The only thing you can do is this. If you have many fonts in that folder, you can select it all, select all with Ctrl A, and then right click and say, install all fonts. And then it's just going to install it without showing you that um, dialog. It's just going to go straight and install it. So that's the way you install multiple fonts. So you don't go installing your fonts one by one. If you have multiple fonts in a folder, again, 
select all, right click and install. It's gonna install everything as it go. So we are done with images. Let's go to vectors. You know what, first let's go to brushes. So there are some things called brushes in Photoshop that we're going to need. And the way to get them is to go to brusheasy, brusheasy.com. It's not the only way, by the way, but this is these people have the largest archive of brushes. Let me just spell that to us. Maybe I should drop it on the on the page. I mean, on our chat. You want to do? You say brusheasy. I'm typing brusheasy.com. Of course, there are loads and loads of other resources where you can get brushes. So it's on the page, you can easily copy it there and just use it. Yeah, this idiot is telling me I'm running out of time. So I think this is gonna be the last one. Let me just talk about brushes quickly. So I want us to get some brushes, get this paint brush, this paint brush. And next week we're gonna be coming back to get more brushes too. So just to explain brush, just know that there are brushes and we're gonna be using them. And yeah, this is how to get it. You can come here to brushes to get them. Now we need textures. Where to get textures? Vectizy. Vectizy. Of course, there are loads and loads of places you can get vector. You can even get vector from just Google Images, and that will be enough. Sorry, I can't see the screen no more. Hello. Okay, let me see. I can't let me see the see. screen, please. Let me see. How about now? How about now? Not yet. So I'm sharing Not the screen. Not yet. Let me just share my screen there. How about now? Please, can anyone see the screen so I, I will get to know if that is from my side? Yes, I can see this. Can anybody screen signify if they can side. see the screen? Maybe, maybe, yeah, yeah. So I just continue. The, the name of the place you get the brush again. I've, I've dropped it on the group. Brush easy. Brush easy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's, yeah, now this is where we get textures, Vectizy, and also vectors. And we're gonna be talking about what vectors are and what brush and text. I've talked about texture, but we're gonna talk about what, what uh, vectors are later. But we can get vectors here. And we can, we're gonna be making our own anyway, so that's fine. So this is where we're going to anchor this class. Any question? There are some things I was mentioning that we're going to be looking at. Have we looked at everything, or is there anything you want me to clarify before going to Photoshop next week? Because next week, I'm just going to tell you, go and get this brush. Go and get this brush. I'm not going to tell you where to go get it. So you come here and get them, OK? OK, okay so so we lost Akin Labi. Any, any question, Macklin? Please, how can I download my font? I'm unable to. Oh, you couldn't download the font? Whenever I download them, download them, they go to my VLC instead of going to my. Oh. It's going to appear like an image, right? No, it's going to appear as zip. Um, I another see. person was having that. No issue. wonder it's taking me to this VLC. Okay, I want you to first do something quickly. I want you to follow my screen, okay? I want you to do something. Are you with my screen? Yes. Good. I want you to go and download WinRAR. Download this. Type WinRAR. Win and R-A-R. WinRAR. Are okay. you there? Select this one that says yes. download WinRAR. So depending on your okay. system, if your system is a 64 bit, select this one. It's a 64 bit. Yeah, select that one and download the WinRAR. Then once you download it, install it. Okay? okay. Once you install it, tell it to take over zips and ISO. So you see, let me just come up with this screenshot. This screenshot here, look at my mouse. At this screenshot here, make sure that zip is selected. Okay? ZIP. Okay. Make sure that ZIP is selected. Make sure that ISO is selected. And here too, make sure you you can then OK. After you make sure that ZIP is selected, make sure that ISO is selected, then OK. All right? Now that's going to correct that problem for you. OK? So every time you download your font, okay. it's going to come. It's going to come looking like this. Let me show you. It's going to come looking. 
So when you download that, it's going to come looking like this, this one. Let me make this large so you can see what I'm doing. It's going to come looking like this. It's, not, it's supposed to look like this, OK? Oh, OK, OK. And then easily, you just okay. to unpack it, just right click and go to extract to the name. This one, extract to the name. And then once you've extracted to the name, you can enter that and then select all and install, OK? That's all. OK. Awesome. Oh, thank a, a, you. Any other question? Raymond, question. I do have a question. Go ahead. Um, uh, about the Photoshop uh, SDK, the software. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to. Um, are you going to be sharing? Or? Yeah, I'm going to put it on the Google link and I'm going to put CSCs there. The reason is so that everybody's system can run it because. Um, so that Macklin system can run it and all. So I'm going to put CSCs on the link. But if you think your system can run Photoshop 2020, you are free to go and get that. But on the on the Google Drive, I'm going to put CSCs there this afternoon. Okay? Yes, are you with me? Which one are you actually using? Is it CSCs? Me? CSCs I'm going to teach. I'm going to teach us with CSCs. And then I'm now going to teach us, I'm now going to open 2020 and show us the differences, okay? But Normally, I, I, have I would have, on, I, on, I would have, on, have, I have love to use 2020, but if I want to give you 2020, it's going to take me about two gig to upload it, and that's, that's a lot, okay? Wow. You get, it's going to take me about two, two gig of data to I upload get. it, to drive. That's a lot. But if you can go and get CSS, I mean, 2020 on your own, that's fine. If everybody has 2020, I'm fine. I'm just going to use 2020 to teach. And that's easier for me, actually. Okay. But on the on the drive, I'm going to put CSS there for anyone who wants to take it. And I could still teach you with 2020 and explain the differences in CSS. It's just that it's going to be a bit stressful. But I think we can still do that. Okay. But can we have both on our, on our system? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can install both on your system. It's possible to have the two on your system. I think okay. I have the two on my system. So it's, it's possible. Okay. Good Any questions? Akilabi? Akilabi, any question? I'm going to assume no questions. So I'm going to stop the share. I'm going to end this class. See you on Monday where we begin to design. Okay, hold on. For all those who gave me their, their, uh, their what, what do you call it? Their email. Are you with me? For all those who gave, yeah, for all those who gave me their email, please check your email. I begin to send invites to you. Go and watch all the Photoshop course. Watch the Photoshop course before Monday, because on Monday, I'm not going to be explaining um, this is this, this is that. We're just going to be designing cool things that we can put in our in our portfolio. So go and watch the Photoshop course, please. And okay. if you if, if you have access to Photoshop already, try it out. Oh, you can't hear again. Oop, that's your. That's I your... can hear you now. I can. Okay. I can. I can hear you. Now. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to already shared about four links. They're going to be about eleven in total, or so maybe twelve. And then I will give you a list on the group on how to watch it sequentially. Because I don't think the links are coming sequentially. Okay? okay. No problem. Okay. okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's a wrap. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. You're welcome.